This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make IoT temperature monitoring system using I2C supported CJMCU-75 or LM75A temperature sensor, ESP8266 VMOS D1 Mini, SSD1306 I2C supported, OLED display module, a 5 volt buzzer, and Blink application. In my previous video, I used the LM75A temperature sensor with the Arduino, which was basically a getting started tutorial. In that video, I covered the most basic things, including the LM75A features, specifications, pinout, applications, its interfacing with Arduino, LM75A library installation, and its programming. So if you want to learn about the most basic things, then I highly recommend watch my previous video. I will provide a link in the description. Anyway, the reason behind making this video is since the LM75A temperature sensor is not yet so popular and there is not enough data available on the internet. So I thought I should make a complete series on this temperature sensor. So that's why first, I used this sensor with the Arduino and today I'll be using it with the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module because I believe many of you guys might be interested in sending the temperature values to the Blink application. I'm sure you know about the Blink application. Anyway, Blink is an IoT platform designed for Android and iOS which you can use to design dashboards for monitoring different types of sensors and for controlling electronic devices from any part of the world. One more thing that I would like to talk about is right from the beginning I have been using Node MCU version of the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module which is no doubt one of the most popular Wi-Fi board for IoT projects and personally this is my favorite one. But there are also some other versions of the ESP8266 which are low cost and much smaller in size. Like the one you can see on the screen is the ESP8266 D1 Mini, which is also known as Lolan VMOS D1 R2 Mini. You may also call this as the Mini Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. The only difference between the two boards are D1 Mini is smaller in size and it has less I/O pins. The programming is 100% the same. Any program which is written for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module will also run on the D1 Mini version of the ESP8266. Just don't use the pins which are not available in D1 Mini version of the ESP8266. So today I'll be using this Mini D1 module, but you can also use the Node MCU ESP8266. Anyway, before I explain the circuit diagram, and programming, first let's watch the LM75, a sensor-based IoT temperature monitoring system in action. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect, and more. Comments are attached directly to the project, making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share, and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. Get real-time component insights as you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, gate models, and how much the part costs at different amounts etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart are given in the description. I have connected the SSD1306 OLED display module, LM75A temperature sensor, 
and the 5 fold buzzer is for the circuit diagram which I will explain in a minute. You can power up the ESP8266 D1 Mini using a 3.7 volt LiPo battery or you can use your laptop or computer. For now, I'm going to use my laptop to power up this project. My Blink application and ESP8266 D1 Mini both are connected with the Wi-Fi. You can see the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit on the OLED display module and also on the Blink application. I have done its programming in a way that when the temperature exceeds 45 Celsius, a notification message is sent to the Blink application. So let's go ahead and start the testing. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The SCL and SDA pins of the LM75A temperature sensor and OLED display module are connected together and then connected with the ESP8266 D1 and D2 pins. D1 is the SCL and D2 is the SDA while the VCC and ground pins are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins. The 5 volt buzzer is connected using D6 pin of the ESP8266 D1 mini module. We use 2N2222 NPN transistor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor to control the 5 volt buzzer. The transistor and resistor make the driver circuit. Now let's work on the blink application. Follow the same exact steps.
before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website, electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The Adafruit GFX.h and Adafruit SSD1306.h libraries I have been using for quite a long time and I have already explained how to download and use these libraries. You can watch my video on the OLED display module. I have also a very detailed getting started tutorial on the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module in which I have explained how to install the ESP8266 using the Boards Manager URL link and how to install and use the Blink simple ESP8266.h. I will add links to all the related videos in the description. You will also need the LM75A library which you can download from our website. To add this library, simply click on the sketch menu and then go to the include library and click on the add zip library. Browse to the desired location and select the zip folder and then finally click on the open button. As I have already added this library, so I will click on the cancel button. This code is the modified version of the code I used with the Arduino. This time I made a few changes in order to send temperature values to the Blink application. The first addition is the Blink Simple ESP8266.h header file. I also added the and Wi-Fi credentials. This time I'm using D6 pin to control the buzzer while previously I was using digital pin 3 on the Arduino. In the white setup function, I activated the blink. In the loop function, I only added four lines, the blink.run. These two instructions sense the temperature values in Celsius and Fahrenheit on the virtual pins V1 and V2, which I defined while making the blink application. And finally, I added this bling dot notify to send a notification message. So that's all about the programming. Now to upload the program, go to the tools menu, then to boards and select Lolin VMOS D1, R2 and Mini. Again, go to the tools menu and this time check if the correct communication port is selected. Finally, click on the upload button and wait for a while. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.